Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about everything VHF related. Uh, basics that you need to get started in boating, um, get out on the water and be safe. So let's jump into it. So what we have here is a, is a VHF radio. Um, this is a very, I'll say a large, uh, has a lot of features unit. Uh, however, it does the exact same thing that every other uh, one does uh, that you might have mounted on your boat. So I'm assuming you have a VHF, a, a fixed mount VHF mounted on your boat. Uh, it's already connected to the, uh, to the batteries and you're ready to get started. So first you want to do is locate the power button. So on this one, I actually have a dedicated power button. Some power uh, or some units will turn on using the, uh, the actual rotary knob of the volume. So locate where your power button is and go ahead and turn that on. Sometimes you have to hold the volume button for a few seconds and uh, it will turn on. So from there, so we've already pointed out the power button, so up and down, I feel like that one's pretty straightforward. Uh, you might not be familiar with the, the term squelch or SQL. You'll notice on, on this boat or on this radio that I have, I have squelch and volume on the same rotary knob. However, unfortunately, I'm not able to push it. It doesn't work. I'm pretty sure of some saltwater corrosion. However, it's a very good thing to have on your boat uh, and being able to understand how to use the uh, squelch feature on the boat. So what you need to do or what you need to know is so if you can imagine, uh, let's just assume that your radio transmits uh, 10 miles, okay? Most likely it doesn't, but let's assume it does just for the sake of, uh, of this uh, information. So let's say you're sending 10 miles. You're 10 miles away from someone that's transmitting. That signal is gonna be very weak because it is 10 miles away. Uh, the, what the squelch does is removes weaker signals and only allows see signals that are coming through clear so that you don't get a bunch of static and feedback in your, uh, in your ear all the time. So if you notice, you turn that knob, the squelch, all the way down to zero and you'll get nothing but static. Okay, assuming no one is talking on the actual channel. If you turn it all the way up to, let's say 20, uh, you will only get very strong signals. So someone that is very close to you, uh, you know, or close to your radio. So if you're 10 miles away from somebody, that might be the limit of your radio. You're gonna have to have that squelch down all the way to uh, probably one or two uh, settings. And if you're trying to, if you're maybe let's say three miles away, you'll be able to have that squelch up a little bit higher. So depending on what you're trying to do with your radio or communication, you might want to uh, bring it up or bring it down depending on how far you are transmitting. If you're inshore, uh, you never go, you never go far away from I'll say the person or uh, you know item that you're trying to uh, communicate with, for example, the Coast Guard station. Uh, if you're only within a couple miles, that squelch can be turned up all the way because their signal is always going to be strong um, and you don't have to worry about it. But if you're far away, uh, you might have to adjust that so that the radio itself does not uh, interfere with the transmission uh, and it'll just be a little bit more noisy. So that's what the squelch does is it, it basically just removes feedback uh, from the transmission and only allows a stronger transmission depending on the setting that you have it set at. So now you know what squelch is, you know what the volume is, you've got the radio on. You also need to be mindful of the channel. So you have a bunch of channels that are gonna be right in the middle. Normally it's a pretty big number. Um, it's normally the largest number on the screen, to be honest. Uh, you have to select your, uh, your channel based on the type of call that you're going to make. If you're looking for uh, for help and you need assistance, channel 16 on all maritime radios anywhere in the, in the world uh, is known as the hailing and distress frequency. That's what you're going to use for uh, any type of emergency or hailing, uh, trying to get in touch with somebody else or another boat. Once you, depending on your communication, if you're trying to just get in touch with another boat, once you get in touch with them, you need to move off of that frequency uh, to what they call a working channel. So, Working channels are normally, I'll say, one that is not reserved for any type of uh, uh, commercial use. So on this radio, so you can see, uh, this radio actually has it listed where it'll say ship to ship. So 68, 69, even 70 is a DSC, 71, 72. So these are all channels that are designated just for 
regular communication. So you can just jump on and talk to your buddies, hey, bring me some more beer, I'm at the sandbar, we're almost out. That's what those uh, channels are for. Uh, if you need to hail them, you can call them on 16 and then say, hey, switch over to channel 72, nothing wrong with that, okay? If for some reason you actually do have an emergency, you'll stay on 16 and you'll continue to have that, that radio communication on 16. Um, with that being said, the, one of the reasons for that is when you're out on the water, um, the Coast Guard does like everyone to listen and monitor channel 16 because uh, you never know when someone is having an emergency and you're actually close and you can help. So, so pick your channels, make sure you're on the right spot. Um, another thing is radio checks, making sure that you're not doing radio checks on channel 16. Uh, they really don't like that. That's not what it's for. It's for hailing and distress. So before you do make a radio call, so select your channel, adjust your squelch, adjust your volume, make sure you can hear it. Every, uh, every VHF is gonna have some type of a microphone. So I have this one for the uh, ICOM. I actually have this one here that is for the upstairs station. Um, so I can do everything the same. But for this one, we're gonna just use the, uh, the standard handheld microphone. So most microphones are almost all, I'll say, are gonna have a speaker and then they're going to have a microphone. So on this one, you can probably see there's a very small dot that is the microphone. So that is the item that I'm going to talk into. And in order to talk, you push the button, which we are gonna call push to talk. So you push, hold the button down, talk into the microphone, just like you would talking, having a normal conversation, and then bring it back away from your, uh, from your mouth and let go of the push to talk button. So push the button, hold it, talk, you know, have your, uh, say whatever you're gonna say, pull it back away. Having the microphone up to your mouth actually just makes it sound muffled. Uh, it does not help when someone says, hey, I can't hear you. It doesn't help to get closer. It doesn't help to speak louder. Uh, if you have clear communication, uh, the radio transmission will go through. So uh, it's something where maybe they need to adjust their squelch or their radio, or you have other issues. But anytime someone says, hey, I can't hear you, you're broken up, uh, talking louder, talking into the thing a little bit closer, none of that's gonna help. Just speak clearly, speak uh, speak loudly, but speak into the microphone uh, as you would. So, all right, so on this one, I, on this microphone, I actually have an up and down arrow. And as you notice that when I push the up button, the channels on the uh, radio actually do adjust um, uh, up and down depending on which button I push. So, that might be a desirable feature when you're going to look for radios if you don't have one installed on your boat already. Uh, also, a little cheat button for channel 16. And then there's also high and low. Uh, if you're interested about hearing about the high and low and maybe some other tips on how to use uh, VHF radio, now click on the video on your screen. and uh, It will share all the helpful tips about different features of the radio like high and low, DSC, and uh, AIS systems. So if you're interested, check that out.